Lorlin from the Mama Pop Quilt Shop here. We're working on weekend project. We're making a little padded pouch or a padded book cover or a tablet cover or a Bible cover or as we uh, Pop had, was looking for, it was a daytime cover. He's got to do some traveling, so he didn't want the pages getting wrecked or ripped. So it slides right in there. I have three layers of batting on this one just because it was that really thin thin poly uh, but I have um, I'm only going to do one layer on this one because I actually my case that I want to make it for my tablet this one right here the I only need really just one little layer so I mean it's up to you I was just kind of playing around with some fabric uh, I did that pretty little design on that side uh, he said he would like blue and green so I made blue on the outside with just some regular just just scrappy strips and then little stripes on that side and then nice green plaid on the inside so that's right and it fits a lots of things if you know there this this measure about an inch and a half bigger than what you want it to fit like if you had a uh, unique small tablet or one of those little those little small computers that you can watch videos and stuff on inch and a half and an inch and a half and you should be able to fit it just fine with one layer uh, of batting okay so this is what we're gonna do uh, I have chose this is all a sewing themed um, project because this tablet actually came with my Janome. It's part of the whole embroidery system. It's got software in here and I can go and download embroidery and put it, install it into here. It just it's, it magically knows each other. So I have this cute little sewing fabric for one part and then this other little sewing fabric for the other part. Those are the two inside fabrics. I chose to do different because I had them and I wanted to. Uh, the outside, I kind of want to keep to these tones right here. I've got this classic sewing machine uh, right there. Lovely, lovely, lovely colors on here. This got some aqua and some creams and pinks and blacks. And then this one right here has got all sorts of sewing uh, words and what they mean like uh, push pin and French knot and mama said so and all sorts of things. Uh, how to use a rotary cutter, what a spool is, all sorts of fun stuff. And then these beautiful, beautiful scissors. Love that. And then this one has all just sorts of sewing words. It says like buttons and um, lovely notions, uh, paper patterns, tape measurements, and then like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's lovely. It's some of my favorite sewing fabrics. And I thought, you know what? I'll make a little cover for this. It helps, you know, not necessarily bust my scraps, but it's I'm tucking into my stash. I don't know. I was my plans to make a bag out of this as well, very very similar to this. So at least it'll match when I'm all done. <laughs> but you know, you can certainly bust into your scraps. I think this year. It's definitely going to be a scrap buster on my end between the uh, scrappy quilts, the colored scrappy quilts working on at the live streams every weekend, uh, Sundays at 3 Eastern. And uh, we just, we're just going to do that. And of course, weekend fun, weekend projects. So I just cut a couple of different uh, size strips, two, two and a half, one and a half, didn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to start off with this pretty pink one up in the corner and then take a bit of the white uh, stitchery, whatever, you know, it says quilt, a warm covering made of padding enclosed between layers of fabric and kept in place by lines of stitching typically applied in a decorative design so you know and then stitch and there's all sorts it's fun it's fun it's really kind of cute so if you have anything like this and it's directional make sure you want it to be directional or you can have it any other way I think this is all sorts of way for this writing so it doesn't really matter um, but this one is definitely directional but if you want to make sure if it was sitting straight up you were looking at it then you know You'd have to make sure you made those uh, those changes, okay? All right, so just quarter and seam allowance. Come up all the way to the corner and give plenty on either side. You can trim those off and that can go to your scrappy bits, but don't be too don't be shortchanging yourself or you're going to end up with a you know a short piece and then you're going to be mad. <laughs> you, you will, <laughs> but only for a moment until you fix it. All right, so before you trim, when you're doing the row by row, like fl flip, flipping, fold it out first. This is where you could press if you wanted to. Um, with some of that fusible stuff, I don't think you really wanna have your iron touch it, so be very, very careful. And then just clip off what you know you're not even going to be able to trim off, right? So the next piece I would like is the sewing machine. It's a bit thicker. I cut some thicker and some thin. And see where I like. Oh, I like that little, that blue and the green machine there. A little bit over a bit. So make sure I'm flipping it, lining, lining it up on that raw edge. Okay. I'm being selective here. 
Uh, you may not have, you don't have, maybe not have the choice to be selective, but you can definitely bust into your scraps and your collection, make a pink one, make a blue one. They're great gift ideas, you know, if you got some fabric for Christmas and you want to start thinking of giving, giving gift ideas throughout the year, this is a great, the, you know, everybody's got um, uh, some sort of reading tablet or a book, you know, that well, they want to protect or something like that. I think it's a great idea. Work towards it for next year. Everybody gets a book cover. And you just slip it right in. And it protects it, so that's what I like. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, now I want to go back over to the texty bits. I kind of want to alternate between the pink and the black and the white. And of course that is directional, so I'm going to work my way from this way down. This will be the top. Not that it really matters. It's up to you. Whatever it works out to be. So you're just going to fill the two sides of any way you like them. Or you can just use solid pieces and then just do some uh, fun quilting stitches. You know, it's up to you. And you can also add those quilting stitches to this as well on the seams like I did. Did I do it to Pops? No, I didn't. I, didn't. I think I thought of it. But you know what I thought did. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's had a good start to the new year. So far, so good. We had a fantastic time with our friends up near Sudbury. So did some snowmobiling and minus 32 degrees weather. Had rosy, rosy cheeks, <laughs> but had a fun, fun time. Can't wait to go back. All right, so now making sure that when flipped, this covers all the way down here and all the way up to the top in that corner there too. Now make sure you're smoothing out your fabric to make sure you're not getting any folds. Okay. And we're just going to sew right down that edge. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now you could use squares, do all two and a half inch strips. This is where you could use your little oddballs. You only got like a one and a half or one and a quarter or half or whatever, those that sort of thing. This is where perfect little, make it really complicated and, and, and fun. All right, so we need to use this sewing fabric again. This one right here with the words and the definitions. Put that up there. Hopefully it's not shaking too much. Let's put that off to the side. Hopefully it wasn't in the way. I apologize if it was. Okay, now I'll use the smaller sewing machine. Remember to push it flat. Push it flat all the way over. Follow that seam. Okay. Now, I want a little bit of maybe some pink. I want that little bit of a pink sewing machine on that one. There we go. So let's do this. Line it up. If you are doing like a big one for like a laptop, well, I had one on, for, on hand here, but it's way over there. But if you're doing a big one for a laptop, you may want to pop a couple of pins to make sure you're keeping with that seam. Okay. So it's not going all wonky on you. I see Mr. Clive off to the side in my peripheral vision. <laughs> he may come for a snuggle. He's been pretty good today. Stayed out of mama's hair. <laughs> All right, so we need to use this one. Where's the, oh, I was gonna say, we should have another bits and bobs of that there. Okay, and take it and then line it up. Making sure once flipped, it is going to fit. That is the key. It's almost really the key to paper piecing, too, is flipping it first to make sure it fits that section before you stitch it down. Okay. I'm kind of excited to get back to crossing guard. Sort of, a little bit. <laughs> it's really cold out there, though. I don't really want to. <laughs> It's like minus in the 30s a lot. It has been for a while. 
deep freeze of Canada. All right, so even with that little bit, you can see that little bit there, I'm still going to put a piece of fabric there just to make sure. I can always trim it off this little section back here, so it's not like it's a, a big, big deal. But that corner, you may even just never even see it, but you may see the batting if you didn't, you know, what if you didn't come around the corner properly or anything like that in your trimmings, okay? So there's one side. And like I say, you can use the solid on the other side. Uh, put your initial here, monogram it, uh, applique, whatever, 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 whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna switch to a couple of decorative stitches, one of my favorite ones here, there it is. And I'm just going to show you if you stitch down in between. I'm trying to feel where my batting is. It feels like it's right there. Okay. And then that gives a nice other little, um, I don't know, a little depth or, you know, just kind of stepping it up a little bit. There's all sorts of decorative. I was going to use some of my sewing stitches. Like it's got little needle and thread and so on and so forth. You know, there's, maybe I'll save that for the bag, the pocket for the bag. <laughs> but yeah, you could just do a couple of that and a few, few little spots, maybe every other one if you want, just to, um, I don't know, make it look good. You don't have to, okay. Just going to do it a couple of times. some pretty fabric. I didn't know what to do with it. And I thought, you know what, I need a little case for this. I want to go back and forth to, you know, for classes and stuff like that. So I thought that'd be a good idea. All right, we'll do this little one up here and then we'll call this one done and trim it. And we'll work, work quickly on the second one and finish it up. Okay. Do, 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 do. I see you. Where are you going? <laughs> All right, so I may want to use some of these extra bits that are coming off this one, right? Because I can reuse some of those. So I will trim to the batting size. Make sure all your tails are tucked out. You don't want anything tucked under. And same with your corners. Make sure all your corners are nice and straight. Careful with your rotary cutter. And it can hurt, as lots of people have discovered. Okay. Line that up, proper pressure, and all the way across. See, and I can definitely reuse some of those. Turn it, line it up on a straight line. See, that little tiny, even that tiny little corner is going to make a difference. Okay, off to the side, turn it. All right. Do, do, do. Just a little bit. See, it's going to be important. All right. There. So that'll be one side of my little case cover. Okay? Isn't that cute? Love it. Beautiful. All right. Because right, so here's my other piece. All right. So I can take some of these bits and bobs here and start in a different manner. Okay, let's start with that one up in the corner. So we'll do a white piece and then a pink piece. Actually, we'll do a black piece. There we go. Ooh, get the black sewing machine. I like that. There we go. And even when you start off, you may want to pop a pin in just to kind of keep things. Oh, jeez, I did that again. <laughs> Don't decorative stitch the stitchy stitch. <laughs> Just regular stitch the stitchy stitch. <laughs> okay. Now make sure you're flipping. And then you can trim off what you know you're not at all going to use. Straighten that out. Is this a shorter piece? No, it's a longer piece. Okay, take this. Uh, I want it to go that way. Okay. This 
is a great way to use up some fabrics. It really is. Only a couple little strips and you can have, you know, cute little cases in no time. You know, there's all sorts of techie devices out there that you could um, protect, right? Got extra fuzzy on the bottom there. We don't need any extra fuzzies. We got enough. <laughs> all right, flipped and I have enough on both sides. Okay. What's up, Mr. Clive? Hmm? Are you coming to say hello? Okay, now this one. Hey, what you doing, buddy? What you doing? Hmm? My nose is already fuzzy. <laughs> I don't really want to pick you up. <laughs> And Sophie's off in the background. Oh, that was a little shy there on that corner. I think we'll be okay, though. If I get it stretched out properly, I think we'll be okay. But it was close, though. Very close. Too close. I don't want to run over you. sewing machine. I got a couple other um, sewing fabric notion or uh, um, themes uh, as well, but they didn't really suit this. I'll show you afterwards. So, but I don't have a lot. This is just a, just a little bit. I'm getting a collection though. It takes time to work on a collection. Perfect. Okay, like I said, you could press it. But you don't have to. All right, now I need, did I only do one of those? I guess I did. Oops, unless I lost my strip. Oh, that's okay, I'll use up this one. I don't really want to cut another one if I don't have to. So I'll use this and flip. And then it should be another pink piece. And then it'll be a little white piece. And then that's it. Then it's a quick little sew around and project done. It's actually really quite fast. That's why I thought even if you just used um, themed fabric like um, Star Wars or Winnie the Pooh or, you know, whatever. Um, Mickey Mouse. There's all sorts of, you know, the Angry Birds and Pokemon and I'm sure the kids all got sorts of all sorts of techy things for for Christmas. It's a good way to help protect them, and uh, and they'll always know where it is. All right, I don't know where my other little piece went. Maybe it was all that I had. It was all that I had. All right. This just a little bit more flipped. All right, almost there. Oh, close, but we need a little bit of chunk of black in the corner. We should be able to get it right off of here because there's lots. Do that little um, scrolly work that's in between the sewing machines. There we go. Okay, now we're going to trim this one up. Just put this all off to the side here. That's the inside. We never want to go too far without this the seam ripper. 
the Shazaminator. <laughs> My friend Janice and Gildy, she became one of our Shazam girls. So anybody else who wants a Shazam shirt, just uh, just let us know or let let Angie know. They are fantastic. And they're good quality cotton and they fit good and they fit nice and or if you would like one of our shirts, feel free. We would love for you to hang out with one of our shirts on. And pants, please. No. <laughs> All right, trimming that up. Trimming that up. Okay, now, with all the bits and bobs off to the side, we have our two very pretty pieces for our cover. And now what we're gonna do is first you get your directional which way it wants to go if it has any way to go. Okay, mine is this way and this way. Okay, so these are my ups. These are, it's gonna sit this way with the ta or tablet or whatever going in the top. So, and because this doesn't really seem directional, it doesn't really matter. So I am placing the right sides together. I do have my insides a quarter of an inch smaller than my outside and only on the bottom like on the this way not on the width on this way okay and you'll see why when I turn it inside out okay so now what you're going to do do do, do. actually maybe, I think I left my batting a little bit big so this one needs to come down just a smidge on the one side for some weird reason oh fix now don't fix later Okay, so trim that up, and that's not quite a quarter of an inch. There. That is a quarter, and we'll fix this one too. Trim it up. Quarter inch from the inside fabric. And there we go. Okay, so now that we have our right sides together, we're going to sew across the top of this one here and this one here. Okay. Pin it if you like, don't have to, unless, like I said, you're doing one of those really big ones, like a big laptop bag or something, okay? Just a straight stitch, quarter inch seam allowance. Just put her on down. I was happy to say, for the first time in a long time, I did make it to New Year's, <laughs> like 2 a.m. That's because I was having so much fun. <laughs> Everybody did, everybody in the that was there, made it past midnight. And then she, she had the cutest little puppy, oh my gosh. Except he tried to eat me a couple times. <laughs> he a hungry puppy. All right, now you take these two that you just did and put them right sides together, putting like the thins together and the quilteds together, lining up that seam right there, that one right there. Get it as bang on as you can get it. Pop in a pin or two or five or 12 or whatever it is that you need. I do pop in a few at this point because it's important to have that seam right up. And same with your corners. Gotta get your corners lined up. Even with your wee bit of fabric in, the cor in, in that little tip of it, it's gonna make a difference in the end. Okay, so line that up, put a pin in. And the same with the other side. And you're going to leave yourself a gap on this bottom edge here. Back stitch, back stitch, leave that gap to turn everything right side out. Okay. So squish that there. Put the pin there. Oh. <laughs> Got a sewing needle or a sewing machine needle. We don't need that. <laughs> All right, and then one on this side, and then a quick little sew around. Okay, all right, start off on the bottom. That's what's on the inside. So it's on the inside of the bag, okay? Right there, I did the same with I did with Pops, okay? It just makes it easier, and then when you do the little reinforced back stitch, it puts a lot of pressure on that seam as you're pulling everything out, and especially if you're using a couple layers of batting, okay? Make sure you stop and pivot at the corners. Okay, now when it 
comes to that intersection, depending on how thick you have it, that's how cautious you go. Don't want to be snapping no needles there. up, pivot. Keep a little closer. All right, up, foot up, pivot. All the way down around the corner. Now give yourself enough room to get your hand in there because you're going to want to poke out those corners and stuff. So don't leave yourself a tiny little hole or you're end up going to have to use the seam ripper. Now clip every corner. Prevent bulk. Okay. Don't clip into your stitches. Now just go in with your hand through the hole all the way down to one of these corners and take your other hand, your hands open on the inside like a big old baseball mitt, and then take this one and poke it through and then grab it with your other hand. And that's what helps. You got that corner, you're pulling it out gently, you're tugging it out, and then you can come in with the other hand or the same hand and poke out the other corner, chopstick, uh, you know, whatever. I don't really use the tips of scissors because it might poke through the other fabric, through the fabric, so that would be devastating to have to mess that all up okay so that's what you'll end up with once you get your corners poked out and you're going to take your lining or your inside and you're going to tuck that little those two rod edges into each other do a little whip stitch or do just a little straight stitch that I do nobody's ever going to see that anyways so uh, do close it up just in case somebody puts money in their little bag or something like that and it doesn't get lost, okay? Now, once that is all sealed up, you take, open up the top a bit and shove the inside in, poke it out in the corners, okay? And there you have a very cute little bag. We are gonna do a little stitch around the top, but just show you, fits right in there. Protects it, I know my corners aren't gonna get damaged, perfect. Fit a, a big book, a day timer, Bibles, whatever. Whatever you, you like to keep, keep with you and keep protected. Okay, do pop a couple of pins in. And the reason why you want to trim the inside shorter, if it was the same size, you'd end up with this rolled edge at the top. If that's what you want, then do it the same size as the outside of the batting. Uh, if you want that little decorative piece, if you're doing a whole matchy-matchy, I want to keep mine right at the separation. Wherever that seam is, I want it going, the, the inside going in and the outside staying out. So I'm going to put a little stitch around there. I'm holding it steady as I'm pressing the fabrics together. Okay, working that little seam allowance. And this is where you could do another decorative stitch. You can just do a straight stitch, do a zigzag, do whatever you like. You can do it close to the edge, do it below, do three or four lines. It's up to you. Just pick one little seam to start at. And I was kind of just doing the width of my foot, whatever I had going on. Uh, I will just use a straight stitch, do a little back stitch, and then just follow the way along ensuring that this inside fabric's not going to roll roll on you as you're sewing, okay? Just take your pins out as you go. And we are almost done. I want to thank you very much for watching. And we are working on a the square red and gray squap, squappy <laughs> squappy <laughs> scrappy quilt tomorrow on the live stream. And we hope to see you then. Oh, and uh, that was Wednesday's project. Did you like that? It turned out beautiful. Very, very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. OK. 
Okay, now just trim up your little ha hairs. <laughs> Threads. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, isn't that cute? Cute little seam. Colorful fabrics on the inside. And then I know that when I go to my retreat, whenever I go to retreat, if I ever go to retreat, or when I'm going to my so long or my little wee group or whatever, and I bring in my tablet, just pop that right in there, stick it with the rest of the machine, and I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about it. And I know it's in there. You know? I can always put a little pocket on the side for something else, maybe the charger cable or whatever, you know, even put a snap at the top. I mean, it's completely up to you and what you want to use it for. So uh, just protect your stuff. You know, you spend a lot of money on it, uh, or it was a lot of money was spent on you to have that techie stuff or the book that you love so much, or the book you're currently reading, or whatever. So there's lots of great ideas, and hopefully that helps conquer a little bit of your stash and your scrappy bits for the new year. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow on the live stream. Have a fantastic day. See you later.